Hello, welcome to Vietnam Journal, our daily English news bulletin on Netflix BBC 10. I'm on your speaking for Manui. Every day we'll bring you comprehensive and up-to-date information on Vietnam and following a major stories on Wednesday. Green GDP Index for Vietnam English Premier League Trophy comes to Vietnam And a Dutchman applies high-tech flower cultivation in Dalat a green GDP index may be used in the National Economic Indicator System of Vietnam in 2014. This information was reported during the workshop on the green GDP index on Tuesday in Hanoi. The workshop reported research results and the framework development for Vietnam's situation. The research was carried out from July 2011 to March 2012 and funded by the UK's Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Mrs. Kate Harrison, UK Deputy Ambassador to Vietnam, attended the workshop. At the workshop, Vietnamese researchers presented the methodological framework for green GDP based on traditional GDP and depletion of natural resources and costs of pollution. Green GDP has been studied in many countries, including Australia, the Netherlands and China. And following is some other economic news in brief. The National Women Entrepreneur Cultural and WEC, in collaboration with the Vietnam Investments and Migration Agency, or IMA, organized a workshop yesterday entitled Business Opportunities in Australia and New Zealand for Immigration for the First Time in Hanoi. At the seminars, the licensed immigration advisor of New Zealand, Mr. Brian Nelson, introduced investment and business programs as well as the conditions to apply for a visa and settle in Australia and New Zealand. VTC Online, a member of the Vietnam Multimedia Corporation, has signed a contract to sell the copyright of two online games to NVO, a Spanish company. Under the contract, NVO has the right to issue VTC Online's game in 10 European and Latin American nations including Spain, Mexico and Argentina. NVO will be also responsible for sharing its revenue with the Vietnamese company. Vietnam earned 5.9 billion US dollars from agroforestry and seafood exports in the first quarter of this year, approximately the same as last year's figure. In the quarter, aquatic products brought in 1.2 billion US dollars up 9% and forestry products, 922 million US dollars, up nearly 6% compared to the same period last year. The country exported 1.3 million tons of rice in the period, earning 681 million US dollars, year on year decreases of 32% in volume and 29.5% in value. Vietnam's total import and export turnover was estimated at 50 billion US dollars in the first quarter of the year. In March alone, the country earned 17.45 billion US dollars in import and export turnover, of which exports accounted for 9.15 billion US dollars, up 10.2% over the previous month. Some major groups, including electronics, computers, machines, equipment, and means of transport, saw sharp increases of between 50 to 100%. The International Exhibition of Construction, Building Materials, Housing and Interior Decor of Vietbu 2012 in Hanoi have received a large number of visitors since March 24th. Notably, this year's virtual many green technologies and eco-friendly products. This year's Vietbu attracts the participation of 19 countries and territories. The booths that deploy green materials are highlight sports at the event. A dark bricks mainly made of cement attract the greatest attention from customers. Vietbuild 2012 is also a chance for some real estate companies to launch their new projects amid the stagnation of the local market. They include the Green River City Commercial Center, invested by Become Next Company in the southern province of Bingzhou. And following are some feedbacks of exhibitors in Vietbuild 2012. 
I am representing Tiger Profiles and Insulation, uh, which is a UAE based company. And mainly we are into the building envelope solutions. So we do all kind of insulation products, which will definitely incorporate the reduction of heat within the building and it adds more power conservation which again adds up to the eco-friendly environment. Apart from that, whatever products we do, we manufacture, we use the components and uh, the raw materials which are 100% recyclable and uh, totally eco-friendly. So our management policies are very stringent and very particular about using the compounds, the chemicals for the formulation of the panels. Uh, actually, this is our third time we, build, we are participating. Uh, 2011 was uh, very quiet. As compared to 2011, this year is response is very good. And uh, this year we changed the concept, something to display the new material. And uh, many customers, many visitors, they like our material and they are very happy to see the new uh, environmentally free natural material. So we are quite satisfied this year, it's going well. Oh, I am uh, I'm happy about this exhibition because I, I, uh, I have a lot of contact and a lot of people are uh, interested about my, my, uh, my production. I do a uh, very new, new style in uh, on, uh, blacksmith work and uh, uh, I find a lot of uh, Vietnamese people interested about my production. And I think uh, in future I, I, I will continue the, the, this, these things and this, this creation and this, this production because uh, I'm sure uh, Vietnamese people uh, want to be uh, by, by some balustrade or something like that in my, in my uh, company. Vietnam Journal. It's not just news, it's life in Vietnam. Welcome back to our news bulletin. A press conference introducing the 19 Premier League Trophy took place on Tuesday in Ho Chi Minh City. The event was a part of a global tour to introduce the trophy worn by Manchester United. At the conference, two famous players of Manchester United, including Dennis Irwin and Gordon McQueen, discussed information about this tour with the representatives of the press in Ho Chi Minh City. The 19th Champion Trophy Tour is scheduled to reach 27 destinations, traveling about 48,000 miles, meeting fans across the globe. Vietnam is chosen as one of the five stops in Southeast Asia. Manchester United is one of the most favorite teams in Vietnam with over 15 million dedicated fans. Saigon Tourist Travel Service Company has received 1,000 foreign passengers and crew members from Germany's Amanda and the United Kingdom's Saga Rugby cruise ships. These vessels dock in Ho Chi Minh City on Tuesday. The travelers who come from Germany and the UK will stay in Vietnam for two days. During their stay, they will tour around historical sites in Ho Chi Minh City, including the Ku Chi Tunnels and Mi Thor City in Tien Giang province. Since the beginning of this year, Saigon Tourist has welcomed over 140,000 foreign passengers and crew members from the UK, France and Germany. Having a beautiful landscape and cool weather, Da Lat, the city in the center of Vietnam, is known as a valley of many valuable flower varieties. This land has attracted a Dutch farmer to come and apply modern technologies in flower cultivation here. Coming to Dalat in 1993, farmers hoped quickly recognize the advantageous natural conditions of this land for planting flowers. After deciding to stay here in 1994, he started building Dalat House Farm, the first company in Lamdong province with the motto of planting flowers in greenhouses. 
At that time, the area of each greenhouse was only 6.4 square meters with manual windows. But now, the area is 12.8 square meters with automatic windows. Opening windows on both sides of the greenhouses makes air convection in the greenhouses better, which creates the perfect environment for flowers to grow. Here you have an uh, irrigation system, which is automatic, yeah, that runs by the computer. Nobody runs with hoses. Here we have a greenhouse with shading that uh, opens and closes automatic under light intensity. So that goes uh, not manual. Uh, the computer organizes a lot of our work. So that is the part of the European technology which I have brought in to Vietnam. Uh, A, to get higher productivity, to get better quality, and to have a better work and, uh, environment for the, uh, the, uh, the people who are working here. This is the greenhouse model of chrysanthemum, one very successful product of Dalat Has Farm, grown by applying modern technologies. After being harvested, the flowers will be classified, and those that meet all the quality standards will be transferred to freezers. Besides, Dalat House Farm has also successfully applied the clonal multiplication technology. The company also contacts with leading flower variety suppliers in the world to bring here varieties suitable for this land. This peaceful region has made the flower industry grow rapidly and also kept the farmer from Netherlands to stay here. I think uh, Vietnamese people are uh, very pleasant people to work with. They want to learn, they want to, uh, uh, to proceed, and they just uh, uh, pleasant uh, uh, partners to share your uh, work moments with. Every day is interested, every day is an, uh, uh, a new experience. Uh, and every day I wake up and, uh, early and uh, when I drive on my scooter to the work I am happy that uh, I can enjoy the sunshine and the happy life in Vietnam. Dalat House Farm, with its 60 kinds of daisies and hundreds of other flowers, is not only a farmer's success but also a success of farmers in Lamdom who have been working with him all those years. After nearly 20 years, Thomas' love for flowers remains unchanged. His love for flowers for Dalat is his inspiration to continue his work and have local farmers to develop the flower industry here and bring Dalat flowers to the world. The story about the Dutch man's passion for Vietnamese flower has wrapped up on news bulletin for today. For comments and feedbacks, please send us an email to netvdaily at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.